setting out at daybreak. Members of Sri Lanka's Malaya community walked the path taken by their ancestors 200 years ago. Also called plantation Tamils or upcountry Tamils, thousands of people were brought to the island from South India to work on coffee, tea and rubber plantations. 74-year-old Murugan Ganeshan, the oldest of the group, told Al Jazeera how his grandparents remembered the journey. When they arrived, there were no roads. They had to cut through the jungle. They didn't have enough food and some died along the way. The survivors couldn't bury them. They were also wild animals and some people were attacked and killed. Believed to be from lower castes, the Malaya Hatamos did not own land and many were poor. They dreamed of a better life across the sea. But the reality was exploitation and hardship, long hours in the fields. Activists say the community made a major contribution to Sri Lanka's economic development, but has never been recognized. We were disenfranchised for decades, we were made stateless for decades, and there had been, you know, uh, rather than being treated as citizens, we were treated more as workers continuously. What we want is that to change, and this march is about that. Gautaban Balakrishnan, himself a Malaya Tamil, says members of the community are determined to change the historic, structural exclusion of their people. They weren't aware of their rights. There was no one to teach them, because they weren't educated. If today's youth can pass on what we know, we can make sure this doesn't happen again. We are remembering our forefathers by retracing their steps to understand the hardships and sacrifices they made for us. Despite earning the country millions of dollars in foreign exchange, these workers are paid just more than three dollars a day. Plantation Tamil should be celebrated for their vital role in making Ceylon tea a global brand. Instead, the community is the poorest in the country, with some of the lowest health, nutrition and education indicators. 200 years on, change is still elusive. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Martha Lee, Central Sri Lanka.